Hello everyone and welcome to the Great in Aquascaping Awards. So, uh, Ratan, do you want to share a couple of things with respect to the Great Indian Aquascaping Awards? Yes. First of all, thank you. for. I hope you enjoyed the two days. And it was a lot of knowledge, uh, knowing new people, understanding a lot of things uh, going around the world. And uh, of course, the Saturday Sunday is used well. So, TGIAC was started in the year 2008. Uh, and at that time, there was no other competition in India. So Stillwater Aquatics was able to envision. Adip with his team came up with, with this idea, like how uh, he introduced plants to the Indian industry. And similarly, this award was uh, conceptualized. And we see a lot of participation. And if you actually go and look at the IAPLC competitions too, we have a lot of Indians who participate. If you see the uh, leaderboards, it might not be there, but the number of participation it's sometimes third, sometimes fourth in the number of participants coming from India. Um, somehow I feel uh, this competition has actually brought aquascaping as a big hobby in India. Uh, it's still spreading. I know a lot of other competitions are there. So we work on this the whole year. There's a lot of planning. You might have understood with the kind of speakers who came in with the kind of uh, platforms we work for and then we look forward for this final day when we would be awarding the best aquascaper so would you want to add in something yeah so it's been like almost eight years since i've been uh, hosting tgic and the award ceremony and uh, I, I have to share this with everybody that you know from the time uh, i began hosting this from the time i think way back in 2014 if i remember correctly to uh, the way it is now, the, the kind of scapes that I've seen is like just brilliant. The, the quality of scaping in India is definitely improving. And hopefully, you know, we will be able to leave a mark on the global community as well. I think a, a lot more uh, can be done and that there's a lot more hidden talent in India, uh, which can be brought about and shown to the world. But I think it's to do more uh, with, you know, the quality of scapes, I think it has definitely uh, developed over the years, but uh, to be able to match up to international standards, I think India slightly has to work a little more harder. And I'm sure uh, we have the talent, we have the backing systems that are required to create a beautiful aquascapes. Uh, let's hope uh, in the coming years, uh, India will be uh, having a good representation of uh, great aquascapers uh, world over. Uh just to explain a little bit of how this happens, at the moment the IAPLC awards is announced, we, we would be announcing the entries for TGIC. Then we start getting entries. So there will be an initial screening because so many times we have seen that uh, some of them are not nature aquariums. They are just fish only tanks. So there is screening. Uh, we are looking to some things like the using a good camera, removing the equipments, but at the moment we are a little lenient on this because it's still a uh, knowing hobby and the knowing photography part. So there is screening and after that uh, the shortlisting is there, then there is categorization and then it is given to the judges to evaluate and give that each uh, judge is uh, not in contact with anyone and even the entry names are given, it's just the IDs which are shared. So finally it is selected and points are collated. Uh, I will just walk you through the jury for this year's uh, TGIAA. Uh, so let's go to the slideshow and I will uh, speak about a few words about the jury who's been part of this judgment. Okay. So for this year, the juries are Purit Lal Bai, he's the director of Arvind Mills, a very busy man, but he still loves nature and has taken some time to sit on the aquascapes and give his judgment. Dr. Tana Tanpolin is from Thailand. He himself is a passionate aquascaper. Uh, he's got his own, uh, own setups and own shop uh, in Bangkok. Uh, so we'll just play the video of his uh, shop. He used to be judging the TGIA a long time back, but he's got a comment to say that this has improved over years, the layout making skills and the quality has become very imp impressive and is congratulating all the win all the participants and especially the winners. 
So this is a uh, showroom which he has. The next judge is uh, Nagraj Baisani, is the MD of uh, Bhagya Lakshmi Enterprises. Uh, he's a nature lover, uh, and if you go to his farm, you'll understand how much he wants to be close to nature. He's one of our judges. Next. And of course, most of you know uh, Mr. Gautam Gupta. He has been with ITC. He's an ardent aquascaper, uh, likes the Indian fishes. He's also got his YouTube channel. He's promoting this hobby. So he's also into it. And and uh, so we will look forward to who are the winners now. So I think uh, before we go there, um, I think let's just discuss a little more about the, the jury. I think they're from like different uh, uh, places. Like, and, and the kind of work that they do, they have different kinds of hobbies. For example, Gotham is an aquascaper, but the rest of them, uh, you know, it's very important, I believe, uh, for the jury. Sometimes it's okay to not be in the aquascaping thing, but you get to see the beauty of the aquascape. But they're still able to connect and, you know, be part of this jury and given their uh, votes. And I think it was pretty challenging for them to decide on the, the, top, the top three, I believe, because uh, we saw that it was very, uh, very, very close uh, in terms of the scoring. And uh, it was, you know, in a way, very, very difficult for the jury as well. They got back to us many, uh, many times saying, you know, this is very, very close by. How do I go about uh, judging all of this? But in a way, we were able to come to a, a conclusion. Okay. We have Gautam in the session. So we would like to welcome Gautam Da on the stage and uh, give a few words about the process and how the scapes are. Uh, welcome to the stage, uh, Gautam Gupta ji. Yeah, good evening. Am I audible? You very much. I think that was a very generous introduction from both of you. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. Yeah, uh, I think, um, yeah, I have been into this hobby. Uh, uh, thanks for the chance of doing a judgment of this fantastic work. And as I wrote, I think, uh, let me start with the positives, a little bit on the positives. That I think it's just a matter of time that uh, some of these guys will reach the top 20 in the world stage. It's just a matter of time. Okay, the, the layering and the depth and the shadows creation and other things. I think the basic tenets of creating an aquascaping, I think these guys have already understood that. Uh, so it's just a matter of time. The only thing that I see and which I think we must improve is that we are still a follower. We are not creating a style of our own. Today, if you look at Luca, you know, he has created a Brazilian aquascaping style. When I see an aquarium, I know this is Brazilian. I'm not even talking about Mr. Amano. Everyone knows that what style he created and how did he want to propagate. it. So uh, two things. I think let's some of us try to create an Indian style. Okay, something which we will be recognized by some of you. You guys are very, very talented. Uh, the other part is that I think the nature part in nature aquarium is missing in the layout. I think we must concentrate more on the plants, okay, to bring out the beauty. I think the timelessness of an aquascape, which you can see in an ADA aquarium, okay, an Amanoscape, okay, the moss, like it gives you a sense of passage of time, okay, the wabi sabi. I think that aspect is missing. Diorama is fantastic, but guys, you know, do pick up the nature aquarium style. I think that's the mother of all styles. And uh, let's focus on that a little bit more. I think that's just a small word from my side. Okay. Thank you, Gautam Da. That was a very valuable tip, passage of time. This really carries a lot of marks, and it is also a talent to do that. Thank you for putting in those words and the valuable tips. Uh, definitely, it will be encouraging for all the participants and the future participants. Pleasure. Uh, so, thank you. So, I think before we proceed, uh, there are a couple of things that I wanted to share because uh, I did get a chance to go through all the, the entries for the TGIAC. 
one of the things that we noticed was there were some really good uh, uh, escapes but uh, some of the people you know they they leave the equipment behind in the exactly. aquarium before taking the picture so i'd say since you spend so much of time money and effort into creating this beautiful aquascape uh, if you can remove the equipment before uh, taking a picture for a competitive aquascape you will get a lot more points it shows how serious you are about uh, the contest and aquascaping so this is one thing uh, that we felt you know we we did come across a couple of uh, entries that the aquascape was uh, really good but we still saw that the equipment was left behind in the aquascape in the final picture that they submitted apart from this uh, i think uh, the way we shoot pictures because of course see, unlike a car which you can drive around and show a uh, people uh, that you know this is a beautiful car you can't do the same to your aquascape right so you need a really good uh, pictures which communicate what you wanted to create in an aquascape so spend some more time uh, in the photography uh, section uh, you know you can uh, even rent out the equipment if you don't own uh, equipment you don't really have to buy all the equipment for the shoot you can also rent it out but make sure if you've spent so much of time and effort in creating these aquascapes do say, uh, spend almost a similar amount of time uh, photographing the aquascape because that is what the world will see i would i would go with what gagan has said i too had a chance i think this year there were a lot of good entries a lot of good entries and something which we came across to uh, the equipments being there some bit of adding of the waves not done on the top uh gagan would be more specific because he takes the session on how to take photography so he would be very much in picking on that but there are few things i mean, always we follow the iaplc way so there is a methodology which is very clearly explained and in fact in this year's iaplc they had put up a video also probably to take if you want to take it on a phone if you want to take it using a camera how to do it these are simple things uh, you would have spent 6 months to 1 year getting the scape in place maybe that one day you are very busy not spending some time to take a photo and a rush you do it but finally it's not how many days you studied for the exam it's how you write in the exam paper that matters so this becomes very important putting this small effort would improve the scapes and definitely india will go far ahead with this okay so without any further ado i think uh, all of you have been waiting for the award ceremony so uh, you know we will be starting with the regional awards so the regional awards basically means that if we have five or more entries coming from a particular state uh, or union territory we will ensure that that region gets the regional award so for a say a state like maharashtra to qualify there has to be a minimum of five entries coming from maharashtra to be considered for the regional award so we will start with that first and then uh, we will proceed to the people's choice award where all of you had cast your vote uh, for the people's choice award let's see who wins the people's choice award and of course we will go to the top 3 winners of tgic so to start off let's start with kerala play the video Congratulations, Shreyas KJ. You are there. Um, we would want to invite you on the stage uh, to put in few words and explain about your skill. So, guys, we will be inviting you on the stage. So, please make sure you can accept the request and come on stage because uh, you really deserve all the attention that you can get. Hello. Hi Shreyas, we can hear you. Do you want to turn on your video? Ah, okay. Thank you, Shreyas, yeah. for uh, turning on ah. the video, and congratulations, congratulations ah, on winning you. the Kerala Regional Award. How are you feeling? I am feeling very proud, and uh, this is my first ever escape that I am applying for a contest, and I am really happy about that. So, how how did you go about creating your aqua escape? You are telling us that this is the first time you took part, and you actually won the award for the region. Yes, and uh, I actually got the inspiration during the COVID uh, um, period, and I 
uh, I also had a brother. His name's Jishnu, and we used to watch a uh, lot of YouTube videos, and we got the inspiration from the YouTube channel named Green Aqua, as you all know, and it's a quite popular channel now. And uh, I got the inspiration from there, and I started to make few tanks. And first of all, I started with a small tank. Actually, it was just a river scape with small pebbles and uh, two ports of Alessinari also. And uh, the entry that I've made now, it's the, my third tank. And I got into it uh, through another YouTube channel. Actually, this is a scape of another person named Juris. Uh, actually, he made a diorama scale aquascape and I was inspired by that. And uh, me and my brother just decided that we would like to make a scape like that. And we spent some money. and. This was um, this um, now been running for one and a half years, and that's wonderful, okay Shreyas. That's wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for sharing whatever Just, you did, and uh, congratulations your, again. Sorry, yeah. the name of the scape is Stream Through the Forest. Ah, yes. Congratulations. That's, that's congratulations. Thank. You. So, Stream Through the Forest has won the Kerala Regional Award. A round of applause again for Shreyas. So, we will move on to the next award. Thank you so much, Shreyas, for joining us. You want to take this? Okay. So next we'll go to the regional award for Mizoram. So the award for the regional uh, Mizoram is uh, Dr. Hampe. The name of the scape is Blue Mountain. Let's hope we can get him on board and uh, talk to us. OK, looks like we are unable to find him. Hopefully, we'll find him in the lounge area. We can definitely discuss this with him and uh, break the news to him. So we will move on to Maharashtra. So we had quite a lot of entries coming in from Maharashtra this year. And uh, the award for the region Maharashtra goes to Vipin Janardhan. You will see his cape now. So, Vipin, I think our team has invited you to come on stage. There you are. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Yes, Vipin. Can you just uh, turn on your video as well if possible? OK. Congratulations, Vipin. Yeah, thank you very much, Ratan. Congratulations, right. Vipin. So how are you feeling for winning the regional award for Maharashtra? I'm extremely happy about this. Uh, this is the first time I'm winning this award. Uh, and uh, actually, very grateful to ADI India for providing me this opportunity. And uh, also appreciate your efforts, Pratan, Gagan, and uh, all the people in the backstage who has made this event possible. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Vipin. Thank you, Vipin. And uh, congratulations. Yeah, thank I you. Think the name of the layout is Raw Nature. Yeah. OK. Congratulations again. We will be getting in touch with you regarding your award after the award ceremony. Okay. Round Thank of applause you. to you. And Thank you. We look forward for more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go on to the next award. So the next award is the regional award for Tamil Nadu. <laughs> Andrew Nelson. So we will bring him on stage. Give us a second. So that's a beautiful scape, right? What we saw. Andrew, there he is. Andrew, can you please uh, turn on your video? Yes, thank you so much. Congratulations, Andrew. 
Thank on you. On winning the regional award for Tamil Nadu, you had a beautiful skip. I think the name of the skip is Eden. So can you tell us a little more about Eden? Yeah, this is my first skip that I've uh, submitted to a contest. Actually, I had uh, also applied for the IAPLC 2021. So uh, carried over from there. Uh, also applied to the TGISC and uh, yeah i mean it's been uh, uh, i planned it for like six eight months six to eight months to get all hard skip ready and i had some uh, things in mind uh, yeah but uh, while doing it i got carried over carried away a little bit and and so on so, i mean not the exact uh, 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 final result that i had kept had in mind but still, uh, yeah, it was a good result, and I'm happy receiving it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, this I think uh, one one thing that I missed um, when um, doing this is uh, um, a person to review the my scape or to be critical um, and to whom whomever i showed before submitting everyone said it was good and so on but i didn't really get some kind of critical reviews like this is bad change this or your foreground is plain or such things and uh, i think uh, this uh, this event um, brought in a lot of people so that we can network and get all these uh, uh, comments i felt so, so a good platform and uh, a good community and thank you for that that's Thank very you. encouraging, uh, Andrew, and congratulations one once again. Thank you. Uh, the next regional award is for West Bengal, from the land of the Misti Doi. You know, we uh, we get a lot of uh, beautiful entries uh, coming from this region, and uh, it's always a pleasure to see the kind of scapes that come from West Bengal. So this is the award for West Bengal. Can we have the video? Well, the name of the scape is Dream Come True, and it is looking like a dream to me. So much of detailing in it. Okay, let's move on to the next regional award. So, the regional award for Karnataka. The name of the scape is Embracing Mother. So we will have uh, Abu on stage. Abu, please accept the invite to come on stage. There we go. We have Abu. Hamza, can you uh, finish completing playing the video? Thank you. So Abu, if you can just turn on your video as well, please. There you yeah. go. Congratulations, Abu. Uh, How are you feeling? Thank you. thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Good evening. First of all, uh, congratulations to all the participants. And uh, I would like to thank uh, ADA and Stillwater Aquatics. Uh, first, I want to thank my family, uh, my mother, my wife, and my daughter. And uh, during the process, my daughter was born in the process of making this aquascape. So I dedicate this uh, to you know, three women in my life who played the important role. So my wife, my daughter, and my mother. So that's why I named it Embracing Mother. And uh, so I just want to say a few things. One is creating an aquascape, competitive aquascape, uh, is sheer hard work, imagination, um, passion, love, and self-introspection. Right. Uh, every time uh, I attend NAF, National Aquarium Festival, I take a lot of... Uh, responsibility along it is uh, it is an eye opener for we human beings to learn uh, to coexist you know uh, we are not the only beings on this planet and uh, thanks to this festival and uh, mr adeep and the entire team uh, 
thank you uh, thank you for organizing this giving us the opportunity to you know uh, see uh, experiment this style of uh, working with nature uh, i want to mention few people here first thing mr stephen uh, thank you for igniting that fire uh, i think uh, post first pandemic uh, lockdown i met him for the first time and then that's how i started this um, i want to thank my friend dean uh, mr naim mr khaja for giving constant feedback and you know working on it and yeah to all the aquascapers uh, keep scaping keep drifting keep rocking pun intended <laughs> thanks thank you so much abu that was so inspiring and touching at the same time uh, it was really inspiring. congratulations abu thank you okay so the next award something you you guys have chosen the participants have cho chosen thank you all of you for uh, looking at the scapes and choosing the best scape uh, being the jury so let's look at it. So the People's Choice Award goes to Amrita Kar. Again, wonderful. So all of you voted for this particular scape, the dream come true. And I indeed believe that Amrita's dream has come true. I think she's won also the regional award for West, West Bengal. Bengal. Uh, that's great news. This is a beautiful looking scape with so much of detailing that has gone into it, right? You can look at the depth of it. Like it looks like it's going to infinity almost. A beautiful yeah. looking scape. It's a very, very beautiful scape. Very professionally done. Very nice scape. So Congratulations, Amrita Kaur. Hit that thumbs up button if you really like what you're seeing on your screen right now. And go ahead and congratulate her in the social lounge. Uh, I think we did have some trouble earlier getting her on stage. So we will probably meet her in the social lounge and congratulate her again. A round of applause again for the People's Choice Award. Okay, now going to the next session. Before we go to the next session, I would want to take this opportunity to Thank the whole team here, uh, who really worked very hard. We have the IT team who was actually off screen. Off screen. Uh, some of them haven't slept for the past two days. So good job. And uh, thanks to the Stillwater Aquatics team, all of you. Um, let's go on to the next one. Congratulate all the participants of the Nature Aquarium Festival and also the jury to take the time out from their busy schedule to you know give us this vote. And uh, I know it has been really difficult for you to come up with the ranking, but I think you did a brilliant job. Let's see which are the top three aquascapes. We will go from third place, second place, and of course, the grand winner is rank number one. Let's have the third place on. Okay, so the third place is the second runner-up, goes to Durvesh Gaikar, and I think uh, he is unable to join us today, but uh, he sent us a video, uh, you know, stating his comments. Let's let's look at that video quickly. Congrats, Durvesh. This is Durvesh Gaikar from Thane, Maharashtra. First of all, I want to thank all the jury members for selecting my Aquascape Sanke Forest in top three position. It is great honor for me. I would like to thank Mr. Adip Sajan and entire Stillwater Aquatics team for organizing such a wonderful event. Also, I want to congratulate each and every participant and winner of this contest. Have a great day and cheers. Happy aquascaping. So that was uh, a brilliant scape. And uh, I think in I think in the past years, uh, Dhruvesh has possibly, I think, won a couple of People's Choice Award. But I think this is the first time he's coming in the top three. And uh, he was super excited uh, when we broke this news to him. 
and that's when he sent us this video. But congratulations again. Uh, so let's go to the runner-up for the TGIAC 2021. Congratulations. Congratulations, Arindam. Arindam Banerjee. On winning the first runner up. So he's on stage. Yes, Arindam is on stage. Arindam, if you can hear us, if you can turn on yes, the video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's already on it. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. Arindam. On winning much. the second ranking for the Great Indian Aquascaping Contest, how are you feeling right now? I am very much happy right now, actually. I cannot explain that how much I am happy. Last year, I was a regional award winner, and that boosted me very much high. And this year, this honor will also push me to do a better aquascape, I hope. I am very much thankful to all those who wished who was always in my support. I would always say thank you to all the hosts for arranging such a beautiful event. Thank you, everyone. I am happy right now. I don't know what to explain. See you next year. Thank you. Thank you, Arindam, and congratulations once again. Thank you. See you next year. See you. So, the Fine. most awaited. So, before going to the first place, uh, do you guys want to guess? Take a guess in the comment section as to who is the winner for the TGIC 2021. Let's see some comments coming through. Key in your comments. Throw some names out. You can also put your name there. Keep, keep putting your comments in. We are looking at the comments. Somebody says, not me. Of course, okay, Shahzad saying, not me. All right. More comments, please. Go on, go on. Key in your comments. We're waiting for you. Seriously? Ravi thinks it's him. Okay. Previous year's Sardar. No, I don't know whom you're referring to, but yes, good try. Ravi. On, okay. Any more comments, guys? So you Let's, think it's you think we should let them know? Let's play the video. Okay. So the first place for the Great Indian Aquascaping Contest 2021 goes to Congratulations, Rahul Mukherjee. If you are there, you can come on stage. The name of the scape is Into the Never Ending Wish. Of course, it's a never ending wish. Congratulations. Congratulations, uh, Rahul. I think you are having some trouble. Try to join in again. We don't want to miss this opportunity. There you go. We will have him on stage in a minute. Rahul, congratulations again. And uh, if you can turn on your video, it will be really wonderful. And uh, share your experience about creating this beautiful Aquascape title into the never ending wish. Tell us more. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear and see you. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember last night at 11 o'clock, I was traveling by train and you people called me up. And the name of the tank is uh, Into the Never Ending Wish. From, I had been participating in TGIC from, I remember from 2018. And it's been four years. And uh, from then on, onwards, I try to reach what I am today. The name of the tank only implies that uh, I had been trying hard for year after year, trying to reach over here. And 
usually my uh, for the last couple of years i have been doing with rock layouts but this time i gone for the woods and that is uh, woods are always close to my heart and uh, you know there's a i feel more natural and this is what gave me ultimate pleasure and i had been uh, uh, very grateful that in spite of all the uncertainties for the last two and three two or three years you guys have pulled off this contest brilliantly and and believe me i had been quite busy for the past couple of days i had I had not been able to go on for most of the sessions but still i would love to go going to see the replay videos tomorrow or the day after for us that is the biggest asset of this nature aquarium festival this contest will come and go the winners will come and go but what important is the nature aquarium festival should remain things like this are very informative it gives us a lot of things to learn and last year i still go through all, uh, went through all those sessions especially from mr longards and all the wabi sabi and these things lay the foundation of your aquascaping basics okay and thank you to the stillwater aquatics for hosting this contest and yeah you guys rock thank you so much that was a lot of encouragement thank you uh, so much uh, rahul for sharing your words and uh, of course i hope your dream is finally come true your wish has come yeah. true and uh, i think yeah. it des deserves another uh, replay of the video and we will po possibly pause it when the scape is full and you can take us through your scape as to what you have created it will help and inspire other people yeah. and the participants here at the award ceremony yeah Yes, Rahul. Take us through what you've created. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This tank uh, for the first time, I have. Uh, I usually have used uh, uh, hardscape materials. Uh, I usually buy from here and there. Okay, and they fetch a hefty price. But this year, I took a huge risk. Huh? These are naturally collected woods from Bengal swamps. Okay, and these have been uh, in a lying uh, at the side of a pond for years. Huh? It has been naturally cured. Okay, especially these branches are belong to guava trees. Okay, and I collected it. I just dried up in the sun and I used it in the tank with no uh, adverse effects. Okay, and the thing is that I tried to create. uh something that looks natural previously my tanks were more of diorama and everything okay but this year i went for nature style and uh, especially the main uh, the star plant in this tank is the crystal moss which i had collected from one of my foreign trips uh, back in 2018 and that moss uh, the texture of this moss is so unique it gave me a lot of things to work out and uh, especially it, i do love mosses and ferns and epiphytes and i do, do did try to create a very natural feeling with the path not the usual path that we see in the rock layouts and all that leading up to the infinity i try to create underwater caverns and everything like and uh, in the background i still agree that it could have been made a bit better I am a critic of myself. Okay, <laughs> please pardon me. And I could have made a bit more because the focal point is a bit towards the center. I in the future in my future works, I would love to see myself the focal point to the sides. Okay, that I need to work out for myself. I agree with that. Okay, uh, and this is it. Huh? The I try to create as much, but uh, the for the last few years the. uh main thing is that uh, the trend in aquascaping was the use of bold layouts or the tension rule and uh, 
what I lacked is that I didn't go with the trend. Okay, that was my lacking maybe, huh? which may uh, I want to improve in that. And, uh, a bit, and I wanted to create this kind of natural feeling. And the, uh, even the fish, the cooperation of the fish did it perfect for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rahul, for sharing those insights. It's really nice to know that you detailed it out in such a brilliant fashion. And uh, we are so happy to see your scape. It looks beautiful and the colors are so, so beautiful. I like the point is that the fish also gave him a good picture to be there. It's a very important thing to consider even when you are taking the photo too. So yeah, I usually do. Uh, I usually do the photo shoot all alone by myself. During that time, I usually close all the doors, uh, create a very silent atmosphere, take a leave from work, and usually I focus on that for three hours, four hours. You just need to make your minds free. You do not need any extra agitation from outside. Uh, many a times, you uh, look, uh, this hobby is impossible without the help of your uh, household people. Okay, they are the ones who will help, uh, who, who will at least allow you to do this because it's a time consuming hobby. And if you do not have support of your uh, better half and everybody else, it's very difficult to fulfill your dream. Okay. And I, I am lucky to have got her support and also total shout out to one of my mentors in this hobby who got me into aquascaping back when I was maybe a college pass out. That is Mr. Devraj Ghosh. Yeah, he used to stay in Myanmar. Uh, now he is uh, back in Kolkata one month ago, but he is my inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you so, uh, so much for sharing that. And uh, it's a wonderful thing, whatever you mentioned, you do need the support of your better half as well. Because we see a lot of people, a lot of hobbies always complaining that, you know, my better half's always behind my back and she keeps telling me or he keeps telling me that I'm spending quite a lot of money and time and effort on my aquascape, but it is well deserving at the end. We are glad that your wish has come true. And thank you so much for taking part in the award ceremony. I congratulate all the participants and all the winners of the TGIAC. We will be releasing the full list of ranking on our websites, both adaindia.in and also tgiac.adaindia.in tomorrow. So make sure if you haven't been placed in the top uh, 20 or in the regional awards, make sure you go there and see your ranking. And uh, the show is still not over because we still have time to meet and interact with the winners in the social lounge. Please make sure you use this platform to ask them questions, ask them where their inspirations come from and uh, where and how they created these aquascapes. So make sure you use the social lounge to the fullest and uh, we will be there. You can bump into us, say hi, and tell us, give us more feedback about how we can improve the Nature Aquarium Festival. We may also be sharing a feedback link to all the participants. Please take time to leave your feedback so that you know we can always go back and reflect on the way we conducted the Nature Aquarium Festival. And we will make sure that we will go ahead and improve the festival year on year. Even though we have a lot of challenges that are coming through, we will make sure we come back year on year and give you a wonderful event. And I really hope that all of you over the last two days enjoyed all the sessions and you had a lot of fun uh, in creating origami, in attending the Zen meditation session. And of course, uh, go mental with the magical mentalist uh, Sanjay as well. And I'm glad uh, we had the chance to host this together. And uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everybody uh, here in the team, I'll also be doing something uh, which we, was not planned. I'm going to ask all of the team members to just come behind us. Come on. Whoever is here. Whoever is here in the studio, if you can just get up and come and just wave at all of the participants and we will do a power pose and take a picture. Maybe it's better you just turn the camera to... No, no, no. I think it's better. No, it looks uh, it's better. Just give us a second, guys. In the meantime, guys, please do be aware there is a IAPLC closing date coming in. Uh, so please put in your entries uh, and participate in the IAPLC and get more scapes for us. 
more scapes for us to make it difficult for us to judge. We look forward for a lot more uh, scapes to be coming to us and making every year a successful year. We will try to put in as much as possible the knowledge sessions uh, so that you all can use it for making the best scapes. So, so yeah, just give us a second while we shuffle around. Anil, you want to come a little? Adip, please take a step back. So we will do the infamous power pose, okay, which we do year on year for all our events. So while we're doing this, I'd like to thank all of you. Thank you so much for your support. You've been great support. And there is also a team uh, who is not present here, who has collaborated and contributed a lot more to this festival. Thank you all so much. And adios. Adios. See you all in the social lounge.